Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of our HTML for Beginners series here on Prime Court Media. My name is Sana Mapena. In this episode, I'll be discussing with you the text structure of an HTML document. One of the things that HTML does best is telling browsers how they should interpret and render text on HTML documents. So, for example, uh, HTML can tell a browser that the text on a particular HTML document should, for example, be italicized being bold be underlined and so on so to see how html does this we are going to replicate this website this is my website it's an html only website and uh please see this as the start of a journey to having your own website because from now on we are going to use everything that we learn as building blocks of a website the aim is for you to have a website of your own at the end of the series so yes the website doesn't look fancy you know there's no styling at all but it works and you know what i'm not the only one who has a uh, an html only website take a look at this website of ucla mathematics professor terence tau no styling at all nothing nothing it's just html all the way everything you know it has everything it's working you know it has you know contact information analysis group all the links you know departments that he's worked with uh you know some of the projects that he's been involved in and so on and so on so it gets the message across and the other one is that of um well spencer professor emeritus of computer science mathematics and the mathematics uh, from new york university uh this is the website uh, as you can see no styling at all nothing 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 here's his image his photo here uh html all the way all the way no styling no styling at all and the other one is that of the great donald ignot computer science mathematician and professor emeritus at stanford university HTML only as well no styling at all so if these great minds can have websites like this um why not us so we can also have a website like this and we can use these types of websites you know for example as uh, cvs to apply for those opportunities you have a small company you want to you know include your profile you know the services that you offer you can have a website like this now please go to your uh, text editor i've opened my text editor i'm using atom so right here we have uh, uh an html file it's empty it's just an empty html file so if you watched our previous uh episode where we were discussing the boilerplate you know what you are looking at here this is the boilerplate i would encourage you to go if you haven't watched our previous episode i would encourage you to go check it out so that you know how we got to where we are right now so i created an empty folder inside that folder i created this uh, index.html file and this is going to be the start of our project so the first thing that we are going to do right here we are going to include inside the body section of this website um, a level one heading an h1 and that h1 will be our name let's include that h1 right here i'm going to write my name you can write yours now we have to save our work so that this blue uh, dot here goes away file save that blue dot is gone now whatever goes if something goes wrong here uh at least we have our work saved it's very important that as you keep adding uh, uh stuff inside your boilerplate as you keep creating your website you keep saving so that you don't get to a point where you lose some of uh, your work so we've saved everything here now what we want to do is to check if this line of code is rendered correctly 
to do that we are going to check inside our browser we are going to open this website inside our browser we are going to do that by right clicking on our index.html file and then go to copy full path and then we are going to check this inside our browser we are going to paste inside our browser and click enter now there's our name there so everything is working fine let's add two paragraphs or two lines of text that explain or describe who we are the first one is going to be right here uh here i'm just going to write okay freelance web developer Uh, okay let's put another one here another this one okay here i'll say content creator a prime code media let's save our work go to our browser let's refresh there we go here we are so we have our name right here our name this is our level one heading and then we have two paragraphs the first line here uh, freelance web developer you write whatever it is that you want to write and then the second one here content creator at prime code media so everything is working so now as i was saying earlier uh, html is able to tell browsers how the text should look like or how the text uh, should be structured for example it is able to tell the browser that this text should be underlined italicized uh, bolded, and so on now what if for example we wanted to italicize this line of text how would we do that to do that we would use the i uh, element for example let's go back to our uh, our text editor and use the i element so we can use the i element on the entire text here or we can for example italicize just a, a small portion of this line of text here let's just start by italicizing the the whole line here uh let's include the i element like so this is the i element we are going to cut the text here and paste it inside here the save now let's go to our browser refresh there we go now freelance web developer this text here is now italicized we used uh the i element to do that now as i was saying earlier you can actually italicize the whole text or you can just target a specific part or portion of the text let's just do that Let's go back to our text editor. Let's just um, take the opening tag. I'm just going to cut the opening tag and I'm going to put it right here. Just want to show you how this is going to look like. I'm going to save and then we are going to go back to our browser i'm refreshing now see what happens uh the word freelance is no longer italicized we've only italicized only this uh, 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 uh these two words web developer only here it is italicized so here we targeted just a specific uh portion of this line so even if it's a paragraph or whatever it is now you can only you have an option of italicizing or uh, targeting a specific 
uh, part or portion of the text this is how you are able to do this now uh here i've used the i element all right so the other way of doing this you can use the emphasis element actually as a web developer you are encouraged not to use the i element i know i've just used it as an example but you are not encouraged to use it instead you are encouraged to use the emphasis element now let's use the emphasis element i want to show you how uh, the text to your eyes will look the same everything will look the same but there is a difference but before i discuss the difference between the i element and the emphasis element i just want to show you how the text looks like let's go back to our text editor and uh, uh, use the emphasis element now we are going to use the emphasis element only here on the freelance weight all right so this word here web developer is already italicized using the i element now we are going to use the em or emphasis element on the freelance uh, await let's do that i'm going to cut the word freelance here cut I'm going to paste it inside the emphasis element. Now, before we even save and uh, uh, go to refresh, I just want us to go back to our browser just to make sure that you are able to see that there's a difference here. Freelance is not italicized. Web developer is italicized. Now, I'm going, I'm going back to the editor we are saving this save now we are going to refresh now everything looks the same here but we've used the two different elements we've used two different html elements but if you look at the text here it looks like the the result is just the same now what is the difference here what is the difference between the i element and the web uh, uh, and the em or emphasis element because we are seeing like uh, the same result the difference between the two elements is the semantic meaning uh, here in this uh, example the emphasis element let's go back to our text editor the emphasis element this is the emphasis element now the emphasis element it reinforces the semantics or meaning of uh, 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 uh of the text while the i element merely defines the presentation or look of uh this piece of text here now uh what this means is that the emphasis element carries more meaning the emphasis element carries more meaning than the i element which is merely concerned with styling so uh with html html is concerned with the structure of an html or of a web page now we are not encouraged to use html elements to style our websites because there is a specific language for that and that specific language is cascading style sheet or css so because of that we are going to remove the i element from here let me just delete the i element and then we are going to put everything inside the emphasis element like so let's save and uh, let's go here everything is uh looks the same now we've only used the emphasis element instead of the i element now this uh the same goes for for example uh with the use of uh bold uh and uh, uh, uh strong so if again there you are encouraged to use strong instead of 
support so we are encouraged when it comes to using html we are encouraged to use uh, semantic elements instead of non-semantic elements so with regards to bold versus strong let's just go and use this example again uh let's do this uh, we are going to try to uh, bolden this text again we are also able to bolden the whole paragraph but we also have the option of uh, boldening or using the bold uh, element on a particular portion of the text let's just use bold on content creator only all right like so i'm going to cut content creator i'm going to paste it inside our bold element let's save our work check how everything looks inside our browser let's uh, refresh now content creator is in bold now it is bolded now at prime code media is still the same yes it was before we used the bold element now let's go back to our text editor and use the strong element we are going to use the strong element like so angle bracket strong and then we are going to cut at prime code media cut we are going to paste the text inside our strong element we save our work we go back to our browser we refresh everything here looks the same but we've used two different html elements again uh here the difference is the semantic meaning strong carries more meaning than the bold element which is the same as we were discussing earlier the, the difference between the i element and the emphasis element so because we are as developers encouraged to use semantic elements instead of non-semantic elements we are going to get rid of this bold element and only use the strong element like so let's just cut the content creator words here then put them inside here create space okay let's save our work uh refresh now the text is bold so now the aim here was just to show you how we can be able to apply or to bolden the text using the two elements so we are just going to remove this uh, element here at least you now know how you can use it so if you want to keep your text bolded like that you are free to do that but uh, i'm just going to remove this because the aim was just to demonstrate to you how you can use this html element and the difference uh, between this semantic and uh, non-semantic elements and let's just let me just save here so for further reading on the differences between the semantic and non-semantic elements you can also check um, mtn web uh, uh, web docs developer.mozilla.org their website has an article they have a very very informative article on this uh the difference between semantic and non-semantic elements you can also check w3schools.com for more information or for uh, further reading on this uh topic here so far this is how our website looks uh lastly let's just include uh, a line underneath here to do that we are going to make use of the hr element or the horizontal rule let's just include it like so we are going to make use of the hr element angle bracket small letter hr 
let's just remove this remember the hr element is a self closing element let's click save and refresh now here is that horizontal rule so uh we will just leave it here for now that brings us to the end of uh, this episode where we were discussing the text structure of an element we discussed how you can uh, use html to structure your text how you can use the bold element the difference uh, between the bold and strong element and the difference between the i element and the emphasis element so essentially what we were discussing here is the difference between the semantic and non-semantic uh, uh, HTML elements. So in our next episode, we will add a list um, of items, which will be a list of schools that we have attended. Uh, thank you so much, folks, for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that bell icon to get notification when uh, new episodes come out. Until we call again next time, goodbye.